Okay. Saturday, September 4, 2017. Okay, we're going to look over Natty Gas. Uh, this is a daily Natty Gas. I just threw on some uh, Andrew's pitchforks just sloppily on here as trend lines. Yellow bounced off the top. Uh, red I just kind of used for uh, uh, the sideways pattern that we have going on here. I can add more on that, but I um, uh, don't want to get it too crowded here on this daily. Um, basically, this is what I have going on here. Uh, here's S1, uh, 295, and then 279. Uh, the low on Natty, uh, 304. I think monthly we'll see it as, I think, 303 or somewhere in there. Um, uh, pivot on here is 326. I think I talked on Friday's live video um, around, I think, 328 or so. So right now, basically, Natty is uh, working on, basically, I think, working its way back into this meaty area. You see these blue-gray bars here. This is volume, um, price by volume. So this is a happy area, and I have kind of a, an aqua or whatever color this is uh, through here and down to here uh, so we took out the low now what I'm hoping for is that we get some sort of sell-off 8 to 12 cents weather begins to change and all of that fun stuff remember I talked about on Friday uh, that I'm looking for a drought right so I'm I'm looking to go after soybeans I'm hoping that greens and everything this year um, um, bumper crops, stuff laying on the side of the road. I mean, just, just price all falls apart. Um, then when I was back in Minnesota, I noticed that the rivers were really high, okay, above the banks kind of thing. So it's been about 15 years since I've been back home, and that was that's something I remember, kind of like when you show up in January and it's minus 40. You remember those, those years. <laughs> but when I used to live in Minnesota, I was pretty well fine-tuned to Mother Nature. Like, one day you wake up and go, okay, you know, you can just tell the, the trees and everything. They all, they're all getting prepared. Um, that one book uh, by um, oh, Edward Dewey, he did tree, circle, uh, tree rings in Arizona. That's kind of pushing it there when, you know, you're counting tree rings, but he, he's down in Arizona. So think about that as an opposite side where Arizona gets too much agua kind of thing. Uh, I believe it's not public domain, but that it's out there. I guess it should be public domain, right? He, he received $500,000 from the government in the 1940s. Uh, as a grant for this? Shouldn't it be public domain? I don't know. But Nanny Gas here is basically, I think, falling into the happy area. My greedy would, would would be somewhere to come under here, but but the deal is is if we drew if we do see a drought in 17 instead of 18, these guys are throwing away their natty on the winter. But what about the summer? Natty gas makes up 25% of electricity in the United States. All right, so what happens if we get a summer and natty gas just continues to, um, uh, or the air conditioners just continue to stay on, that kind of thing, you know, all the time. So uh, basically I have natty gas in this channel here with this aquamarine, holy buckets green. Sea foam. <laughs> I suppose I should go whip out my color, my color wheel, right? I don't think it tells you what color it is, but this is we're we're coming down into this now. That a couple angles of play here is that for those with deep pockets can write naked puts. All right, and I'm talking. I think I was talking like August and September in the video. Um, you know, you're gonna. Tr the the deal is is. The prices can come all the way down here. What did I mention? Two bucks. Just a humongous washout and an unwind. The, the, the thing here is that, like I talked about before, is you buy the contract outright at, say, 30 grand, and it drops to 20 grand. Yeah, you know, sure, that's painful and stuff, but the deal is, is that you're in it, okay? Because on the flip side, if it starts going the other way, you can add, uh, you already have, you know, what, 20 grand is what? 
you already have what five, six, seven times the minimum margin. So you can like double up right away on the reverse, you know, get yourself stopped in and go from there. Um, the deal is, is I'm looking at it as the, the people are throwing away their contracts. So this is an opportunity to buy. Somebody's going to have to be on the other side of this thing. And right now I'm not looking for the winter. The hush hush is I'm looking for the drought in the summer. Say I'm a, a year late. Okay, instead of 18, it's in it's in 17, which is fine. It's, it's you know, so you just you just basically playing the chart. I don't know what EIA said on Thursday. You know, to me, it's just all psychology. You know, you could have a draw and prices go down, and you're like, oh, it's like, well, that's what the chart says. Okay, so we basically have a breakaway gap here on the front end, on the back end. A lot of them, like October, November, December, and then they they all filled the gap, but we're going the other way in natty gas. So we're coming down. Um, we'll see about oil too. Uh, BTU is a BTU is a BTU. I think heating oil came off okay, but uh, gasoline is kind of holding up there. So, but we're coming. You know, it's it's you know as we go through the charts, you know, this is where we're at. Yeah, this is th these are targets just like everywhere else. You know, if it comes back through, you know, let's say 320, 325, you know, they'll you know start setting alarms at five points all the way up here. You have to get back in on this thing. Um, so now I'm looking for, I'd like to see some sort of washout go from there. I'm going to have to start staggering those futures contracts again, but Kev, but Kev, what happens if it comes down here? Well, then that's why we sell the options, silly, right? If you can pick up 10, 20, 30 cents, say you want to buy at 240 and all of a sudden it gets to 260, sell that put option. You know, if you're like, well, I want to, you know, what happens if it reverses on me? Like it took off on here before, then it's like, well, okay, sell something deep in the money. It comes down to how it comes down to how much money you have and how, how are you going to risk this thing? How are you going to work this? Well, Kev, shouldn't I just wait for it to turn? That's fine too. But for me, I'm looking at it as this, is that this is the third low, low in about 10 years. And can it go lower? Sure. The low, 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 low is like in 1992 at a dollar four. Okay. So, but, but here we're talking, the, the deal is, is that you don't want to be that guy dumping down here. You know, we're only talking, we're talking, you know, I'm, I'm skipping the, the whole dollar two or say $3. Natty gas goes down to a nickel. You now $3 lower. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at, at the four dollars higher or higher than that you know natty doubled this year i'm waiting for it to double again right <clears throat> so for right now on natty <clears throat> for me i'd probably start looking at writing put options here you know once you start going below three like 290 280 to say you know you can walk it all the way down <clears throat> if you do get caught okay you get caught you know all of a sudden it drops to 260 and you got a 280 well, there's 20, you're off by 20 cents minus what they gave you on the option. It could be 20 cents. It could be a dime. So your loss is only half, right? You know, if you, you know, if, you know, if you're sweating, you know, uh, you know, say a thousand bucks on something that's 30 grand. Well, in theory, that's the old 3% thing, you know, but you're, you're, you know, 3%. Don't risk more than 3% of your, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I look at it as this way. It can only go to zero. Go run down to the bank, take out $30,000 and go buy March of next year's contract, you know, kind of cross your fingers. You know, that's how I kind of look at it. You know, that's, that's, that's you know, just, you know, this to, to me, I'm leaning that this is the first wave and then we get some sideways action here. So uh, I believe I posted the chart out at Twitter, Twitterville. Uh, here's another one on here too. Um, this is just basically a daily get to with some bullet chip bands on here, blah, blah, blah. Remember, I uh, also use previous uh, pivots. Like here's a pivot, support one, support two. Here's pivots being made already for March. Okay, so, you know, the pivot down here in September kind of ties, September, December, ties in here. Uh, Bollinger Bands, you know, mediary, meet, M-E-A-T. The bell curve. I guess I should go look up at the, at the time. Apex, um, the Harmony place. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that I got that one wrong on the final test. What is this peak here of the bell curve? Ah! Uh, the happy place. <laughs> I uh, I love that in mathematics, and all of a sudden they bring out the whole I. 
the, the, the eye. Well, this is, we all assume that this is right. And I'm like, hold on a second. What's this assumption crap? So I took a test and put down I a lot. They thought it was funny, but it didn't. I assume that this is correct. No, we want you to solve it. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. It was fun. I love going to school, especially in towns like this. Where the jokes are date girls that have more teeth than fingers. Yes, that's it. Can't tell a joke, but great at improv. All right, so media area. Uh, what about any type of flag here, Kev? Maybe on a weekly basis, and we'll get to those. You're getting some sort of crossing action here. What is this? 20 on the Bullerger band, 50 on this colored one. What's a green guy? Green moving average, 40. You know, throw on 20, whatever. It's just to me, they're just lines. What you're looking for is the behavior. Uh, here's one here. What's this? A 200 day, you know, did was off by a little bit here. So you want to tighten it up here. Here it worked on the breakout from the bottom. So we're coming down into here. What's this? 225. That would be nice. 225. This is 250. All right. So we're going to have to break this up into quarters. Quarters all the way down. Or you can get greedy and put in every 20 cents for the options. Oh, boy. This is where I'd love to have a propeller head. <clears throat> Fine tune it all. You know, did you buy? Did you sell one one option? Sell two options? Sell three options? Or four options? Or six options? Or eight options? Or five? You know, or do you go the other way? You know, do you sell in the money? In the money? In the money? In the money? You know, bounces back. You collect the coin. Oh, so much to think about. I just like to look at the chart. The computer here on this one, this is a straight up, oh, it's ATR. The computer has 240, which is underneath this little node here. There's a happy area, 270. That was what I blabbed about. And a happy place on the futures is uh, about 274. Uh, upside, you know, 360 up here, 350 to reverse it. This would be a trend line down on here, the red line, just trend line. So technically the market is down until it's crossed. Like here, trend line down and it was crossed. Downside in this one is these are three boxes. So you have to wait for 30 cents before you go, it broke. <laughs> go the other way. What is this quadruple bottom break? down on third quadruple bottom. So this is going to be rough in theory in um, point and figure charts, but this is an oddball user defined one by one by one. Okay. Uh, what it is is the sideways translates into going oh, the horizontal count translates into vertical or the other way, the other vertical, negative slope, positive slope, negative slope. There you bet you can. Oh boy, he remembered one. All right, so the, there's a 270 area here, so I'm gonna assume we're gonna come down to here, the 270 area, because if you can count it, does it give a count here? No, it doesn't, all right. But that's usually how it goes. You count it, you know, X amount of boxes, you know, what do we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, same type of deal, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, came in a little sharp. Okay, well, that's all right, add in the next ones, whatever, just draw a line. <laughs> We're coming down and we're looking to buy to go. You know, that's the whole story here on Natty. Oopsie, what happened here? Percent with one uh, percent box. Okay, so this is an uptrend line. You can see it pop through here. What do we have? So 268 in it, that's a 255. So it's 13 cent drop after this. Percentage wise, it'll be greater than here. So we have 290 on here, 306, that's 16 cent drop. Uh, this is about a four cent drop. So this is one percentage box is on here in the point and figure. So it's uh, percentages. So as, uh, what are we? Press objective meant 381. I usually don't look at any of this. I try not to. I, I'll just kind of like confer if I agree with it, you know, like if I see this, if I see this type of chart, you know, a thousand times for the next 5,000 days, you know, when I begin to agree with it, then I'll lean with it. 
I don't know. I'm going to assume that this is 68% deviation kind of thing. Um, uh, with everything else, I'm, I'm just as good as the computers, except for I seem to do a little bit better than the, the masses, though. Well, that's just the nature that I am. The whole meaty area where everyone's a genius and buys and, you know, well, it's the whole trend is pointing up. It's kind of like this. Interest rates, right? You can get it right. We're in a tightening cycle. Okay, so... Uh, da, 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 all right, 327. It's about 328 on the upside for reversal. What's up here? 447, 450. Okay. So in theory, okay, in theory, as this goes along here, this is going to be resistance like here. You were you were short until it came through here. There are other theor er, rules that go along. I love, 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 love point and figure one. It just has price. I'm not trading time at all. I'm not looking for all the A's on here to tell me that it's October. All right, here's C, here's December, you know, here's two, here's February, here's one, January, here's January, here's February, you know, so, you know, March, maybe we'll put in a bottom down here, you know, and then by April contract, we shall see, you know. That's how it works, and it comes to, you know, because you're looking at it as you're within the, what, 90th, you're in the bottom 10% of price here. You know, maybe it doesn't take off. It doesn't take off for another decade. That's fine too. The whole deal is to have, to find one thing, learn it, live it, love it, breathe it. That's all you have. You, okay. If you can master the natty gas, you probably don't have to go anywhere else and trade, right? You could sell options on both sides and do spreading and keep things kind of delta, delta neutral. I think is the proper terminology. You know, you 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 your risk. You know, if if with your spreading than that, if it goes up, one side makes it makes earns money, and the other side loses money per se. And then you can slap uh, slap options on there too, and it's the same thing with the decay. You know, like the whole writing of the options deal, you do get snagged a couple of times. You know, and you got to weasel your way out of it, and you can. You know, but that's the problem also is when you're working the end game of these things, stuff gets sloppy. You know, if the computers kick in and say, we need to sell here, it's the 2.618, blah, 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 blah. Well, you never know. Somebody can print something goofy, right, from a casino in Vegas and go, oh my God, I need you guys to pump my stock. I'm running out of credit. You guys remember that stock, right? The thing took off flying. Then Craterville. You know, the computers, the mathematics are all in there, right? The math is all in there. They're going to go and target every Fibonacci moving average. They're going to target every 40, 50, 200 moving average. They're going to go and target point and figure. They're going to target percent changes. They're going to look at how far away standard deviation, the reversion of the mean, stochastics. Is it, is it pointing up? Is it down? Is it sideways? You know, how does it relate to whatever, you know? And it's all in there. So everything is precise. You can see it when you look at prices, bang, the stuff stops, stalls at S1, S2, R1, R2. It hovers around pivot, you know, that kind of thing. Natty Gas this Friday was having difficulty holding pivot. I mean, it was all over back and forth. I'm all, what, four cents of both sides of pivot. And then it just kept rolling over all day long. But dang, the market's been closed for an hour or two or something. And ding, ding, <laughs> all my alarms are going off. All right, so Natty Gas here. This is a point and figure chart. Um, looks like every 15 cents. Holy gazelle, is that a 15 cents? Well, I suppose when things begin to take off up in here, that's a, you have to wait for 45 cent reversal. So 270 down here. All right, we shall see in theory, right? So this is the downslope from the six and a half. It came down, it broke through, and now we're back in. So this should be support. I'm also going to go off the horizontal on here too. Uh, Natty Gas Monthly. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, so we just have a trend line before six and a half. Lo and behold, we get a little blue bar going through the trend line. This isn't precise, but it's close enough for Gabby. The trend line again, two on a monthly, bam, bam, bam. Oh, 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 oh. What did we get? 
we get a blue bar and it comes on through. We get a blue bar comes on through. Here's pivot. This was pivot. But see, now I'm thinking maybe 250, 240 on here, right? What do we have? Any other pivots up here? Here's 313. We're already at that. Okay, so we're at monthly pivot, right? So we slide through here. All right, we just slide through here. Okay, what happened is it came back through, and the high was actually on the on the on the trend line. Always carry your trend lines forward. Just 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 carry them. You know, it's kind of like uh, you know on the downside kind of thing. God, if we get down to there, what is that? 79 cents, holy buckets. You're gonna have to put that one into perspective, buddy. <sighs> I have to put it in perspective, man. Anything, you saw sugar go to a penny and a half. That would be like losing 90% where it's at right now. More than that, 94, 97%. You have to put this in perspective, buddy. You have somebody has to unwind, like an Audrey McClendon. Yeah, unwind some is right. All right, so Natty Gas here. Air S1 is 226, 308 is pivot. On the flip side, 455, I'll take 445 and 537, but probably those won't be hit. Here's 350, so say your alarms for 350. You have to be back in. If if it comes through here, you actually ended up with a hammer. It did get to, hmm, it did get to R1 and then came back and test pivot. It did get into R1 and came back down to pivot because Zowie Batman. <sighs> have to go look at the three minute traders here in a second. Um, Let's see here. Oh, look, it says commitment of traders. Hey, look, Natty Gas. I think that came off, right? Okay, so the banana heads. Hmm. Okay, so the managed money is beginning to wheeze a lot of it here. Okay, so it's not as clean as I thought for right now. All right, so the blue here, this is managed money. So these are the funds. So they're beginning to have to pull in their horns a little bit. And blue up here, small specs. Johnny's silly head is just a tad bit long. I guess they've always been long, Natty Gas. Ooh, got close there. Red commercials, I like to stick with them. They are beginning to turn up and go long. The red commercials got long here, right? Commercials, yeah. Do this a little better. Here's the red commercials. So the commercials on the way down began to get long, 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 long. And then they got short on the way up here. Okay. So, but it wasn't very deep. Here was uh, large specs. Began to get long. We're all zoned out at zero. What are you guys? Swaps and producers. Swap dealers green. Why are swaps others? Okay. All right. Trend line through here. Ah, it's Zowie. Need, need, need to focus. Yes, Kevin, but what happens if it doesn't come here? All right, blue little guy. Little guy needs a flush. Managed money's coming off. Here's zero. Here's green swap dealers. Commercials. Okay, so commercials are going to be buying this thing here. Kev, you think like a banker. Commercials, consistent produces merchants, 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 processor user, and swap dealers. Commercial merchant. Yes, it's a commodity. It's kind of like I look at this as $3 silver, right? $3 silver. This is what I look. Would you buy it? $3 silver. Yeah. Would you buy it? $2 silver? Yeah. $1 silver. Would you be willing to get out at eight bucks for silver? Well, that was the first stopping point on the way to $50. Eight, twelve, sixteen, 12, 16, then it gets a little more interesting. All right. So breakaway gap, I think uh, ABC pattern, uh, wave one, wave two, uh, or maybe uh, how about an ABC pattern for the bulls? 
fill in the gap here. Hmm. You have to buy in no matter what, Kev. You have to buy. This is an opportunity of a pullback. This is where you got long the last time. On the EIA number, they gave you they gave you the dip. And it took off running like something fierce. First pullback, second pullback. That was the end of it. So we're back to here. All right, so from 270 to 104 is 116,000. That's three times margin. Holy buckets. These people aren't going to be able to hang in here between the falling knives. So puts, so I have to go look at <clears throat> options. Let's take a look at 20 year while we're here. Ah, all right, so Natty Gas. I was turned on to Natty Gas in 96 here. Natty Gas, this is where I was turned on to it. Being in Minnesota, oh my, one year. That was the, that was basically when the final straw came in. Uh, this this is I think this was it. Yeah, Natty Gas. All of a sudden, what was it? December, January, and February. It was eight hundred dollars for Natty Gas. I almost died. I never paid. Well, obviously, you know, it goes from what. Well, they lie, of course. Oh, down here is when they raise prices. And I always shoot that out to the NRC. Or that's the nuclear regulators, whatever. Yeah, it's at two bucks, but that was at 10 bucks. So that was five times your bill. Yeah. I wonder you just, I'm like, I think I did. I think I got out of the house then. Got out of the house. I said, F that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going, well, what? Uh, it was an inner city house, so it was cool. I could ride my bike to, down to the uh, IDS and all that fun stuff. Minneapolis. Now I go back and it's just like the house is exact. You know, I mean, I'm shocked, right? I'm, going, I'm already riding my bike, cutting across Frank, that Franklin Park there by the tracks. You know, I ride my bike back from school and and uh, stop at Caboose and listen to bands and stuff and, you know, the joint, um, you know, all the bars downtown. I just get on my bike, right? I mean, I got it all figured out. You know, there's, there's not too much traffic going on, in, you know, that way on Franklin, right? That sideways traffic, you know, Lake, Lynn, what, Lake Street, they put in an overpass. I mean, I had basically one stoplight before we got into, did I come up fourth and four? I think I would come back that way too, along the river. But now look at it. Now the bikes are everywhere. I mean, I, um, what are you, a trendsetter? I go back there now and it's, it was a freaking zoo. I'm like, ah! you know, I mean, one day you're in inner city, Minneapolis, and you're like, you know, the, the, the white rush had already left, you know, they're gone to Apple Valley and stuff, you know. And, Every time I go there and look at the river, you know, and look to downtown, I go, oh my God, you guys actually drive that every day. I'd go bonkers, man. Go. Oh, no, thank you. Ah, so Natty, yes. Kevin's just reminiscence about the good old days when he actually could get on a bicycle and not blow the stem out of the tube. <laughs> Hi, dog number one. All right, so five bucks up in here, right? That's where she, I said 445, whatever. Just keep it a secret. All right. Uh, then we're aiming for 750. I'll plug away at eight and see what happens. But it might I got to believe within two years, I'm going to get eight. No more than three is what I'm thinking. Geez, I really should charge more. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I should, shouldn't I? All right, so here we are. Pretty good. This looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Mm, what about this calf? Well, look, it's years. I said three years, right? One, two, three. That worked. You know, you see this. That's what I basically see, like I said, and for all you now, now new subscribers, straight across here. One, lar one larger sideways pattern since about 2008. So we have eight years plus of sideways action. Come back in here, what's this, 92? Eight years would be about here. Whee, there we go, keep it a secret. All right, getting back to my charts. Natty, Natty. All right, don't worry about this little cycle thing here, I just threw this in. Here was a high, OMG it's a low, OMG it's a low. So somewhere up in here is a high. 
<laughs> right. Whatever, whatever. It's just sometimes I get bored and throw stuff on there. If you, I mean, come on, if you begin to believe this stuff, you know, and you're in trouble because you'll be betting it all on, you know, on some here. Here's a happy place where we need four and a half. Okay, lots of volume. We go back to 05 and 06. Okay, so here's four and a half. I think I said 445. What do we have here? 455, 440 for dying the last or so. Here's a little bit four. Okay, so the swing through, if we get back through 350, whatever, it should go to 450, that kind of thing. It'll tighten up even more here. I have to worry about the, this pivot. This was a good thing. This was not a very good break. And it came under the trend line. Well, I suppose I could trend line it that way. Can we get to a weekly yet? Ugh. It's falling on moving the average swing up to here, 550. Weekly, weekly, are you weekly? You're monthly again too. Pivot, moving averages. Another swing higher, 4 to 450. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Is there a weekly? What are you? You're monthly again. Lots of moving averages. Came back and pulled back. Came back and pulled back. Any guess in the big one here? Four, 385, 330, 275. I'm just looking at the bell curve here, 220. All right, so all the numbers are there, and this is a dynamic scaling ATR. Bearish price objective zero. Oh, bless you. Bless you, computer. Bless you. Quarterly. Oh, this is even getting goofier. So much for my weekly chart. All right. So you banged off and you got an inside. This is a quarterly. So this will go through March. So I'm looking for all the lines in here. Inside, inside. Where are we at? Any inside? We did have an inside here. Inside, no, outside, but we had a reversal here, okay. All right, I'm just looking to see if this thing holds down in here, okay, where the bodies, you know, the bodies are at, hold down in here, let's S1. 288, yeah. <sighs> 288, if it holds, and then you, you begin to get a reversal, you know, April, May, and June, the drought kicks in, hello, Kev, woo! -hoo! Seven up in here. You know what I'm saying? Saying burn. Gotta watch that stuff. What's this in quarterly? Uh, for the love of Pete. What's this one? Ooh, here's a weekly, but different bars. One second. Ugh. All right, I love him, Kev. <laughs> For the love of Peter, stop it. All right, four dollars. Sorry about that. I wouldn't offend anybody. Right. <laughs> okay. You do. You do. That's for imitation, Kev. All right, so four and a half on here. All right. So we have that. I'd like a better weekly. Look, it's a weekly. Okay, so we're looking for a bear bull flag on here. It's a little bit wider. The angle of ascent is beginning to drop on these on this here. And that's um remember logged charts. This is this is getting pretty freaky. I'll have to go through and do uh I suppose I could warm it up. Let's see if it's running today. Uh, See about toss. Run through those charts too while I'm at it. Well, this is just a nutty gas video for Saturday, February 4, 2017. You are installing updates, it says. Good for you. Ah, uh, Natty Gas here, weekly, what I have up here. Correlation. Okay, this is a correlation of Natty Gas and oil. So this is a high correlation here, right? This would be opposite correlation. Say oil goes up and natty goes down, okay? We have a high correlation. So Friday, if that was the high on natty and oil and rolling over, natty would do the same thing pretty much. All right. 
Natty Gas, Natty Gas again. This is my weekly. These are Hike and Ashy bars. Okay, should do a daily one. And down here I have. Uh, I have unbalanced volume up in here. Unbalanced volume. Here was the spiky and the six. Okay, and here was the. Here was the. Uh, is that where I came in at fourteen and told the kids it's going down to? It? Yeah, I think this is when I got started on the whole natty gas kick. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is when I went against the herd and took crap. I think I told him it was going to go to 89 cents. And then down here, I was getting long. They we were all getting short. And I'm like, you know, I, you can't convince them. You know, they're going to go in short. They're going to be that person. I'm shorting. I mean, yeah, it's there. But what are we talking, a buck 30? You know. And here they are shorting into a 17-year low and above where they shorted at, right? So, obviously. And so, you know. Here, where the idea was to write put options, put options, put options, put collect premium on a falling knife, falling knife, falling knife, falling knife. The dango, look at that. that. Would that happen to be a support level? Yeah, bounced off it. RSI divergence, money flow too, on balance volume. Yeah, we had more sellers come in, except for more money was rolling in, and yet the RSI, there's underlying strength. Whee! Now we're gonna try sideways here. What's at 252? 280 though, 288. So you have to buy in. So I would have to do is calculate buying in at say 288. Uh, I'll have to figure this out. 288, 274. I'll have to. You know, it's kind of like this. You buy the, you buy the uh, July contract. You buy the August contract. You buy the September contract. You buy the October contract. You buy the November contract and then anything below this and you just start buying contracts so i have to figure out how much all that loss is on the way down but you can write put options and what happens if it turns then you have to chase after it and that's what you want anyway because you're 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 bullish right all right and down here's uh this is uh, correlations between gas and stuff gas ual boil unl u gas you gas isn't holding it together. No kidding. Oh, well, it's correlation. Two natty gas. So this is your this is bad bad news here. But it did drop that far when it got out of whack. Hmm, wouldn't that be funny? The, what's the greatest amount of decay or self-abuse <laughs> and here it is look at that but this is a weekly right we're weekly so i need to fine-tune this little bugger come on little bugger you need to be fine-tuned down to a daily here there's a good laugh for you cat look what you just found out you found out what is the where are you correlation to you gas now you're up high i need to keep you anyway save as New. All right, whoopsie. Then you have to go and do this, don't you? Oh, great. Is that in the second page? Oh, all right, so we're here. All right, so we're rolling on over. Okay, so this is daily. It's about 292, 292 and 267. All right. What about the old world famous, you know, shoulder, head, shoulder thing, too? Yeah, I'll have to be vigilant about that. Money flow, yellow here, RSI. You can see the RSI had a divergence here in a daily. New high, RSI, no bueno. And then here's your unbalanced volume. Bodies were in it, and bodies came out. So I'm looking for a flush. See how we had a flush back in here? That's what I'm looking for. Or <clears throat> probably still about halfway back. Halfway back, see, it goes up about halfway stalls, and then carries on, wayward sun. Um, these are beginning to reset RSI on a daily. We haven't had an oversold in a while. Got close. What is this, 14? Ugh. Need to change those to 10s. I'll do that later.
Okay, quarterly bars, more, more, more bars, those kind of bars. This we just looked at, maybe gas coming through. So this is weekly Natty. All right, Natty gas and gas, G-A-Z, G-A-Z, yeah. Uh, I think it's like 50 cents or something. Um, here's where we're at. Come down here to 40. All right, so here was the bottom. Yeah, I have to come down about the 50 area. So I'm, I'm gonna expect more, but I have to be vigilant about um, 280 uh, area here. The next the next drop of, uh, what did I say, 12 or 13 cents, somewhere around there. Eddie, I guess, correct, 276. No, it shouldn't really bother me. I have to fine tune this thing to 20 cents. You know, it's about 12% of total mark. You know, it's 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 high up there, you know. But the deal is, is you know, if you, if you have 100,000 or 100 million, you know, you're going to play this a little bit differently. You know, that's just 209. Okay, here's the trend line. This is the, the trend line. This is, this, this is... This is to keep it a bull market. This is what needs to hold. So right now the trend line is around 209 and stuff, which is fine. Plug that into your, your calculator about you know how much cash you have. 254, 354. Set alarms back up on here on these um, numbers. I should actually use this one as save as. This would be for the video. Video, what is that called? Video screen, video cover. Oh, Lord. It's a flash, right? Boy, it's been a while since I did video. Public access, Bloomington, Minnesota. Yeah, tax dollars at work. It's like way cool. Did a fishing show, went up to Mille Lacs, caught a fish. The fish is on this side of the boat. Fish is on that side of the boat. The fish is on this side of the boat. The fish is on that side of the boat. And it's only been 40 seconds. Only 26 more minutes to go. You know. Um, all right, Natty Gas here. So we're short on this here. This is the resistance level coming off of uh, I believe the six bucks. Uh, meaty area there. What's this one? Six. We're at six here, so that's a dime or 12 cents. So 10 to 12, I think I said eight to 12. We'll see how it pans out. If it comes back the other way, then we're looking that it's, I'm gonna treat it as a retest, kind of like what the US dollar did on Thursday, Friday. Uh, D gas, I think it has room to, it's run over five, I think. I have to go figure out where I said to get defensive on Matty gas here, so. <clears throat> Somewhere in here, whatever, some buck higher. It's <laughs> 25%, Kev. Stro stroke it, Kev, stroke it, whatever. Gas, 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 gas. That's where I got in. I was only looking for 60. Got a little higher, we're setting back again. I'm balanced by. It's a lighter, it's a lighter deal here, so it's going to be a little more sensitive volume-wise. But you can get in here. I mean, you can, <clears throat> whatever, you know, fifty cent stock. Let's see, you can throw fifty grand. Out. You can throw a lot more at it. This is, I think, this is the, um, um, this is how you gas and de gas are priced off. You know, it's not leveraged, but I mean, you know what? It, it goes from forty cents to sixty cents. You make fifty percent in one month. You call it a decade. <laughs> That's, that's how Kev operates, right? Right? I, I, I'm the architect. I put it together, but I'll be damned if I'm going to pick up a hammer or stand around and look at it every day while it's being built. And by 8 30, 9 30 in the morning, man, I am, I am done. I've had enough because I'm just waiting for fruition. That's what I'm mean, planting your seeds and stuff. What are you going to do? Watch the lawn grow? Just call me back, you know. I'll still watch certain other things, you know, 
you know, we had, we had GDP again on Friday. We had the dollar, we had bonds, we had Iran, we had Trump, we had all this stuff. So I'll put in a full day on Friday. But by 4.30, when that sun sets, man, I'm, I'm, I'm off to bed. I've had enough. You know, it's not as much of it. It's not, it's, it's more of the morons out there. It's more of a problem. You know, but that's the downside of this. You go, you jump on your little box and tell everybody it's on fire. Del, del fuego, en fuego, get the hell out. No, you can't get them to do that. One of these days I'll come and find some sort of pithy thing or find enough followers. I guess I suppose that's how you really do it, right? You get enough people that trust you and you save their lives. But the downside is, is there's new fresh faces that come on board. There's always somebody that turns 18 and wants a Lamborghini by Thursday. God, zowie, Batman, is this a wave four? Oh. Now, this is one of them little flaggy things going on here, and I could chalk it up to a wave four here. Read your prospectus on this. I think the plug gets pulled if this gets under 20 cents. Holy buckets. Oh, God. Trend lines. What's this weekly? All right. Got to hold on here. All right. Yay, contracts. April. Woo! Okay, April hasn't cracked yet. Uh, you could say it's secondary distribution. The bodies were in there. Now they're coming out. You haven't had, a, you haven't had the sell-offs for a while. That's what I'm looking for. Sell-offs come down to here. So what are we at? Three dollars. So under three dollars for April gap fill. It's ninety-five. What's this one here? Eighty-five. So uh, and reversal on here is three and a quarter. Okay. So this is on April. You'll have to watch your April contracts versus March contracts versus the rest of the contracts as we go through them now. This is a weekly. Uh, into the cloud you go. Where are you at? Three bucks for April. Let's see the people running out of there. That was quite the interesting thing here. October. Whee! All right. So what are you? 290 something. All right. So I'll have to look at puts here in April. Let's say 290. Oh, is this little thing open, Kev? Yeah, why don't you go eyeball it real quick there, Mofo? Trade. Why am I down $25 million? I'll have to figure that one out. What happened? Oh, I took delivery of something. There you go. There's a margin call. Somebody hurry up and get on the phone and go find me some capital. I have a $25, $25 million margin call. All right. So here's March and April options and two at the money is 20 cents. Okay. So three tens are at 20 cents. So can you score? Follow me in this one. Why don't you change it over, Kev? All right. Uh, here we go. Okay. Here's my story and I'm sticking with it. All right. So we're, you want to buy. Okay. You want to buy. Where are we at? March 305. This is 310. All right, we'll look over here what they're asking because we're going to be selling, right? All right, so 310, 310, we'll call it. So here's April, 53 days to go. The options are 52 days, day before the contract. Here's an at the money April put at 22 cents. Okay, so somebody will pay you 22 cents if you want to buy at 310. If you want to buy at 290, they're offering you 12 cents. Okay, so what I'm getting at is is if you sell the 310 for 20, 22 cents or whatever, you're, you're down to 290 with the, the 20 cents, right? So you take 20 cents off of what you, somebody's paying you 21 cents to buy this at 310. Okay, but what, think of this as this is at the money. So if we get 290, maybe this will be 20 cents again too. Well, if you short that now, you short that put option. Okay, you're on the hook to buy at 290. So if a creator's down to 270, you're out 20 cents, but you sold an option at the time and maybe you scored the 20 cents. So in theory, you'll still be out because of the, the time on the, the option that's still there following me. There's still some, um, maybe some intrinsic value or some time at least, I mean, time. extrinsic. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be intrinsic if you're in the money on a naked put. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so so that's what I'm getting at here. So on April's here, I should take a little snapshot of this deal, right? Four, that works. Oops, that would be. Does it say March? There we go. So we're looking here to sell these puts um, and going forward, right? Uh, get down to what's this at the money? 315. Where are we at? 313, close enough. 25 cents. So you get down to three and 25 cents on here at $3 on the May. Uh, you're at a 275 basis. All right, you're forced to buy at three. I mean, if it's at it's at um, three ten, they're not going to sell it to you at three. You'll just collect the premium. So you'll collect a quarter. You know. it's Eighty days to go. Um, what's the margin on? Uh, oops, where am I at over here? Uh, I should do that. Margin is. Can you give it to me? Oh, you buggers now. Uh, fundamentals. Nope, no fundamentals. So for a chart, that's kind of cool. Bye. Margin, margin, no margin. Delete. All right, whatever. Okay, go back to trade. All right, so, and then while I'm at it here, down here, this is the contracts, right? So here's March, blah, 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 what's this? February, and here's March, okay? So this is the, the, for next year, this is where we're at. We're trying to get these things to come down, all right? Here's all of, look at that, nobody's, they don't even look at it over the summertime here, June and July. Oh, those would be tempting. And then the run up afterwards, the run up the heating season afterwards. And here's things get a little shaky here. But don't, uh, there may not be any volume or open interest in it at all. Open, no volume, nothing here. So those are either marks or whatever, so. Don't worry about that for right now. So for what are you dotted line? Sun's in my face again. Uh, while I'm at it here, we're just looking at the old uh, Natty Gas, right? Pictures. Okay, Natty Gas. All right, so here is March. Um, got a high coming down. What is this, 30 minute? I do daily on this one, right? Gap fill, gap fill in here, right? That's what we're shooting for, for gap fill. We have five, 15, can we lose 15, 20 cents? That would be awesome if Natty Gas could lose 15, 20 cents on Sunday. Please. The other one is that it comes back the other way. The 320s resistance is that it retests the breakout area here. You know what I'm saying? Come back. Um, April contract. What's this happy place? 302. We close it through. So this is seven cents lower. Eight cents. That was the eight to twelve that I was talking about. May. Here is the ATR. So three oh nine. So it's four cents for May. Uh, June hasn't hit yet, but this is fifteen. So it's three cents. Oh. Yeah. Come down to here. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I have here. All right, 321 and three, three cents there. October 305. And happy place here for 25, five cents. That's for November, so. I believe on this one, I changed it around to factory default. 
shall see. Okay. All right, so then switching back over to, uh, where was it, Natty again, finish those off. All right, so. Cloud area here, support for April, right? 280, 290, pivot 270. We shall see. It might be quick on here, so be careful. It's, my, it's not as much as how low it is. It's when it turns and goes the other way is my concern. Here's August. Oh, I'm trying to get towards three, you know, because you're aiming for a drought. You can see the, the oversold here, but no one was really thinking about this here at the time. And then they got into it, and now they were hoping that they come out of it. Maybe you have to, to puke it up. You can tell where they got in here. You're going to have to puke it up. I'd like to see a sell off down here. 312, three, you know, what's this? 312, 312, 313, it says. So this is for August, sets some alarms. Let's go back and do that. Bam, here's August. Bouncing off the pivot. Mm. Okay, so we came back down to here, which was above the rest of it. So it'd be back to here where we're at, right? What I did is I took, um, this was sent up in November. I took the pullback of about 12%. Here it was about 13. I was looking for then for it to take it off, right? Uh, this started up higher, so but it was just basically the percentages. So here I was looking for, you know, it comes back through and, and it does the same thing. Uh, you know, here's 35%, so here's 36%. Right? Here's 320, we, we went below it, so maybe I'll have to adjust this down. Um, it'd be about 440, I said 445, or whatever. And then here's 61. And this is the move of, um, basically we were took off from the pullback all the way up. So this will have to come down too here. That's what I was looking for. Bodies are in here though, weekly, unbalanced volume, okay, 220. Wow, we shall see, right? Shall see? So we fell up underneath here. I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume the bodies are gonna start coming in here. You know, they're gonna have to you're, you're gonna be puking up another 60 cents, you're gonna be a dollar thirty off the high, a dollar fifty off the high, it's fifteen grand. It's only worth thirty grand and it's fifteen, you know. That's first day in, in and you have to roll. So these contracts you got into all of a sudden it's like, you know, it's not working here and you have to get out of it. That's a downside. Okay. Continuous contract. Yeah. This is three twenty-five. Top of the cloud. Targets for Feb. Went gap eighty-two. And yeah, same contract, same deal. Wow, what do we have? Moving average, 144 moving average. 144 day moving average. Kind of kind of hugged it here. You know, this was the trigger here. You know, like how I had the 200 day and it was off. Here's 144. I think it's just a simple, right? Yeah, simple moving average, I think. 144. What's this one up here? 34. Moving average resistance resistance came back through. Only it's a little quicker on here. I don't want to do a four nine and eighteen, but all right. So moving average. Oh, can't wait for Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right, hitting the dots. What is this weekly? Hitting the SAR dots here. It did break down. 
possibility that it comes in, what's that, 328? So we're on the other side, 12 cents higher. No, that's my, uh, here we go. Here's 241% from the low here in, in 12 to the high. And I did 241% here, it'd be about five and a half from the low. It's just, it's a whole, just a percentage deal, whatever, you know, kind of thing. Unbalanced volume here is purple. And he guess that's Dece, Dece for 17 through 30, through 20. You probably want to watch this one uh, because there's the Dece seasonal too, you know, from the October and that. Um, I brought up how early in the season can you have the high on Natty Gas. So, um, you know, how the peak of the season can, it, you know, can it peak out here, you know, that this was it for the season and it's all downhill, you know, like, kind of like I was looking for the stock market. You know, it uh, just goes down December 17, 310. Set an alarm for like, you know, 320, 310, $3, 290, you know, that kind of thing on uh, Nettie Gas here. This is for December. That would probably be your pickings. I kind of want to go into like March, you know, 18 kind of thing. Stay as long as I can in the season. But like I said, it'd be, if we get the drought this year and then the hard winter, follow January 17 17 Jan 18 fat bar Jan, July here's July you're coming up short 320 here 320 312 313 Gap fell down here is 305 or so. All right, many gas. Oh, that might be too early. Well, Pat, I will see about spreading between April and June. That kind of thing. Or right, hold on, was that June? Yeah, it was June. June again. That's an average. I'll have to take a look at that today. March 17, under three here. Gap fill, about three. Halfway back, what's this pivot for next? It's 311, which is nickel higher. Nickel higher on Sunday. You know, you have, uh, you know, here's your pattern. It comes down. This usually follows here. Should be a washout. God, 20 cents lower. Looks like I should do some sort of live thing on Sunday. You mean compete with the Super Bowl, Kev? Hey, come on. I don't know what time it starts. I'll have to figure that out. We'll find an app. I think I watched it on. I watched it on. I think I watched it on either CBS or. Fox's app thing last year. Which, that's a fat bar. The body's got out of it. All right, so they're getting out of it. So we had some fat bars. See how this one came down? I get the reversal. I don't, well, it did come into the cloud. 320, God lordy. No, I have to take a look here. It's pretty flat though, but the body's come out of it, which means we won't have any future sellers. All right, that's how that works, May. November, ugh. 320 would be a nice score. Right. October. October again. September. 
last round of charts, I'll let you guys go. All right, this is uh, XNG, Natty Gas um, chart there. Basically, possibly a double top going on here. Um, I'm not sure what's on the inside uh, for individual issues. You guess, happy place 2298. Looks like uh, computer says 2280, but that's uh, it's, it's short. Is it even one day? You guess, hold on, why did they jump in here? What am I? Oh, <laughs> EIA. It didn't work. So there's more flushing to go on in, in UGAS, obviously, here. UGAS, okay, so we're down to here, but this is a two hour deal. We're down to where it all, where it all began. All right, so UGAS is beginning to get washed out. Give me a little bit more here. Could I have another thing where uh, Natty Gas opens lower here? And um, the pros buy, and then uh, wait. Then what they do is they wait uh, for the U gas people um, to come in and dump on them too. So then they're kind of like doubly long. <clears throat> if it bounces off the bottom, you know what I'm saying. If it bounces off the bottom, they go, oh well, you know, it's we're 15 cents off the bottom, but still down a nickel. You know, the U gas people are going to sell and they're going to come in and buy. It's it's just it's it's tempting. I'm gonna have to lean with the mentality right now of, the, of a drought this summer. You guess, you guess, you guess, or you guess, you guess. Correlation to Natty Gas down below here. It's a daily chart. It oversold, and I've got a bounce of ten bucks. We're sold, but we're not there yet. But then how much is left though? So on here on UNL, we have um, uh, let's see here, UNL sideways. Oh, sideways to down on UNL. I was just watching those two. Um, are killing me. All right, you know, la la la, sideways, blah blah blah. Bodies are in it though, so we're gonna need an unwinding of here. Only ten thousand stocks. Uh, UNG bodies are in it. I'm not a big fan of this. It looks like it's gonna come off too. Oversold was down here, so I'd have to say it's gonna come off. I'll say another buck, why not just upset people? All right, so that's the end of that one here, huh? Kind of ran through them all. So, you know, once again, you know, the whole greed thing is trying to score Natty Gas, you know, here's the meaty area on the spot. So this is March, okay? So there's a lot of fluff that can come out of it. Um, you know, 25 cents lower gets it down to the 280 area, 270 four was on the futures. Did I do that? Um, you know, so, you know, the focus here is to try and find, you know, summer contracts uh, if they throw out the winter ones, you know, lean, lean for a drought. That this is one move, one move up, and then now we're just, we're correcting that one move, you know. You know, we're beginning to retest these areas. So it'd be tempting to buy. Like I said, the greed would want to be under here, which would be about another quarter lower. So it's 50 cents lower, you know. And then um, uh, when I looked at that one chart, you know, it was the third low. So can I make a fourth low? Sure. Can, but, um, you know, uh, basically we shall see. The, the way that it's going is maybe a nickel to seven cents higher, but that I would view it as um, retesting the broken support that it, that it broke. And then the next one would be say 20 cents lower into that gap fill. All right, so everybody have a wonderful day and I'll do some more videos here for, for right now. And I'll send this your way. Okay, have a great day. Uh, 
You want to hear five dogs howling at a siren? They didn't. They didn't do that until the one came back from the girls in Palm Springs, and they learned the doorbell too. They still don't know how to fetch five dogs. You throw a stick, and they smell it. Come back to you and look at you. Throw a ball. Take them to the dog park. Five of them whimper. Oh, uh, I guess. Yeah, please come down in here. Okay, so Naked Puts is going to be the angle on here for you deep pocket folk. Bodies are in it. Yeah, we're, I'm going to have to. Well, what did we figure? 20 cents? So, okay. So if you sell it at the money now, all right, I'll put it on selling at the money March or whatever. We'll say, we'll say, um, but on Sunday, okay, 20 cents. So if you can collect 20 cents a month, that's, um, you know, 20 cents is, um, you know, it's at two grand a month for a year. So every time at the money, try and collect 20 cents and then you'll end up having to buy those contracts or cover them or whatever. You can weasel, roll the option, all kinds of fun stuff. So that's the angle that I'm gonna go after here is about, you know, try and get 20 cents uh, for writing naked puts, uh, I'll just start with whatever. I'm hoping a hard sell off on Sunday and go from there. All right. So what am I looking at? Five to seven cents higher and um, eight to twelve lower. But I'm targeting another. I'm trying to target under here the greed thing. Uh, but I have to begin to you know, to, you know, two two ninety four or yeah two ninety four two eighty eight you know two seventy four and all those fun numbers. So. Um, uh, let's hold it where we have this. Uh, where did I put that? Commandment of Traders. So I go to Commandment of Traders. There's natural gas. Here, I'll show you something. You guys like lines and stuff. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, commodities. Um, energies. Uh, natty gas, natty gas, natty gas for March. We'll put it in June. And then we're looking for um, Trader's Cheat Sheet. And it just lists a bunch of stuff on here. You guys can print it off and get a highlighter out and go, you know, okay, here was, here was the last 50% retracement. Here's a low, one month low, first pivot point, second pivot point. You know, you just kind of highlight all these off. Second, 208. So it's at 12 cent drop. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring on a 12 cent drop. You know, pivot point, four cents higher, five cents higher. So it's closed below pivot. So it should be leaning short, but you can't rule out a retest. You know, go up a nickel and then fall 20 cents. You know, that kind of thing. So there you have it. Yeah, my little gift for me to you kind of thing here. Just sit around with a highlighter all day long. Just keep moving it up the ladder, moving it down the ladder. All right, rock and roll. Have a good one. Bye-bye.